since we know what the keyboard buttons are, we know how to clear patterns, and we know how to change to different patterns on Volca keys, why don't we try recording a pattern of our own? A great practice in building any new pattern is with the shortcut that I showed you in the last tutorial that involves holding down the function button and pressing all. This clears the current pattern you're working with and allows you to start with a clean slate. Now that the pattern is clear, let's start recording by pushing the record and play buttons. You'll notice as soon as I do this, the strobing light at the bottom begins moving, letting me know which step the sequencer is currently recording. This is the only indicator of timing currently, so it can be a little tricky to know where you are until you press a single key. My general rule of thumb is to just press a key and then build around the note, be it an accident or not. But occasionally, you need some ways to be precise. One great way to ensure that you start the right note on the right beat is to, instead of pressing record and play at the same time, simply press the record button so that the light blinks. Once the light is blinking, if I press any key on the keyboard buttons, that will be the first step recorded with that note. This means that you always have a guide as to which note within the sequence is the first until you add another note, of course. You can also enable the metronome to act as a guide while you record. This is done by holding down the function button and then pressing the metronome keyboard button. Now I have a click track to guide me along, if I choose to use it. All right, let's start the first step by clicking the record button, and then press the key to lock in my first note. And then build it up. While recording, I don't have to stress too much about timing. Volca Keys quantizes with a 16th note quantization by default, so the timing, once recorded, will be automatically locked in rhythmically to the nearest 16th step. Once I have a pattern I like, I'll go ahead and stop the sequencer. Now we just need to save it, which we'll talk about in the next tutorial as there are a few things you may want to consider in your strategies for song building and live performance when it comes to saving.